Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And I have been on the internet again. Yeah, I got a little frustrated. And once again, there's some things I did here that I'm gonna. Admit. A stinky breeze strikes once again, ever silent, ever deadly. I hadn't realized, just, I hadn't guessed this would be the way forward. I hope I didn't catch something. This is a little more warped than what I would have guessed. Okay, first of all, we're just gonna insult him. Hey, my LARPing sword! Give that back! Sorry, Dumpenheimer, I still need it. Apparently getting insults out of Strong said that, that there's a, a metric on that. So, the, uh... If you look at Strong said, he thinks he has a disease. We need to panic him so he goes off to the doctors. We've already made him think he has a temperature by lighting that on fire. We've already spoken in the Hamsar language to make him think he doesn't understand stuff. But we have to give him the shakes. Now, I, I will admit, I should have guessed this. Wrong button. This shakes. So if you hide it on Strong said, he thinks he's got the shakes. Yeah. I think it's better to take my t t t t temperature. I can't stop shaking. It's pretendositis. I knew it. I gotta find a doctor. Medic? That was quick. Turns out they've got subsidized health care here, and they let me keep my pretendix in a jar. Oh man, no fair! I've been trying to have my pancreas jarred up for years. Interesting side note. That kind of happened to me back in 1994. I was working at a I was working at a place that made television tubes, and I was on quality, you know, working, and you, you had to hook up wires to leak check the tubes. And if the tubes were charged, you'd get out, it'd bite you like crazy because you, as you're attaching it, um, they're supposed to, after they front load chassis would, would test them, they're supposed to discharge them, but they would forget. And you'd get a hot one, and it would just, oh, that would hurt. But what would happen is, is the guys on the pack off line knew we all carried beepers. Remember beepers? This is back in 1994. And they would vibrate. So what they would do is they would watch you hooking one up and they would dial all but the last number and the, as soon as you connected it, they would hit the number and so as you hooked it up, your your belt would vibrate and you thought you were getting electrocuted, essentially. And then they would just laugh their asses off. It was, you know, it was funny. Hey, that's mine! Correction, it was yours. Maybe you should have gotten more pretend fiber in your diet if it was so dang important to you. Pretend fiber gives me real tapeworms. So, all right, I should have guessed that, right? Should should have figured out that to give him the jiblies. But this this next bit, I didn't know walk around bubs was a place. Oh, must have wandered into the wrong side of town. Uh, hello, stranger. Is this the place to pick up my packages from the legitimate sweepstakes fulfillment center? What? Heck no, strong man. This is the black market. What do you have? Weapons? Artifacts? Organs? Hook me up with some heavy ordnance. I got a de of town to depose. No can do, strong bad. Just got through shipping out the last of my weapons. Weapons? Uh, not even one bazooka flamethrower that throws throwing stars? Nope. Sent those out to Cochnia. Are they having troubles with the Fahugwagati rebels? <laughs> That's great. The fuck Boy, you, you have to be a fan, you know, Fahugwagats, but. What are these artifacts you're talking about? Got one left. From an illegal excavation in the Hamsa Reservation. They say it's priceless. That's the last okay, thing. Okay, how much? I said it's priceless. No way I could just sell this to you. But I could trade it. Trade it for what? Well, I'm out of just about everything. So make an offer. You see where this is going? We're going to sell our brother's organs. I mean, that's I'm just... I'm in the market for a new organ. Something in a pancreas. Or a tasteful gallbladder. Fresh out of organs, strong man. 
Yeah, this is pretty much the worst black market I ever seen. Don't blame me. This is the king of town buying them all up. Don't know what he's using them for. He's probably building a mutant army of the undead. I want a mutant army of the undead. He keeps calling them giblets for some reason. But I don't care, because he's driving the prices way up. If you can get anything, even tonsils or a nice pretendix, it's worth a fortune. Any condition. No questions asked. You're a shady, shady character, Bubs. It's cool in the shade. That is a good line. It's cool in the shade. So, hadn't guessed I was going to be selling my brother's organs to get an artifact. Is that what I think it is? It depends what you think it is. A jar of Grandma's homemade gribble dangs. Uh, no. It's strong sense pretendix. A real life pretendix. Even better. I'll trade you for it. No questions asked. What will you give me for it? For one that big, anything I got in stock, which is just this broken piece of an old pot. Did I just get ripped off? I said no questions asked. Okay. So, you know, does that imply that the, the king of town is buying up people's organs and eating them? That is fairly this going warped. to take much longer. Fairly warped. No, it's not going to take much longer. So let's see what happens here. I've achieved enlightenment. I understand everything now. It's all so simple. It was the pride of the peaches. Wow, that was vibracious and flotatious. So now we can talk to Hamsar. I love the character development they've done with Hamsar here. That he's not just some goofy weird guy doesn't make any sense. It's his own language that you can't understand. Because of something mystical and ethereal. Hello, strong bad. What's the haps? Hey, I can understand you now. Your voice is so soothing. Thank you. I do radio ads for local jewelry and watch repair shops. I'm sure you have many questions. Ask away. Okay, I'll, I'll do this. Ah, 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 I'm the old Jalboa jump shot. Why are you talking gibberish, strong bad? You sound like a two years old boy. So that doesn't work. Let's. How does that popsicle stand work anyway? You have reassembled the sacred elemental items of collection. Ordinarily, you would have to face a punishingly difficult final dungeon and disappointing end cutscene. But the ancient prophecy foretold of a young boy that would one day come to usher in a new era of- All right, shut up, filibuster. Never would have asked if I'd known you were such a windbag. So this is the key thing that you have to do. And it is hilarious. Do you want to join Strong Badia and help overthrow the of town off a cliff? Why should my people risk open war for you and your considerable style? We're not gonna risk war. We're gonna start one. Listen to what that royal boil did to me. First, he wrinkled the top of the breads and cereals group. My baseboards are full of chicken sticks. What? And he's really fat and stupid. Hmm, then I have no choice. We will join Strong Badia, first for some sandwiches, then to die side by side in battle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody said anything about dying. But first you must complete the three ancient tasks of great boredom. What? Nah, man. Just messing with you. Let's do this like Brutus. So, in case you're wondering, I, I did this whole thing with my microphone on mute and then had to reload. So... Yeah, we're, we're there. Like, I had a practice run. That's just stupid. All right, put on your dancing shoes, Hamsar. Time to make a move on the castle. I will follow you, my brother. And these are my dancing shoes. But first, we must perform the ancient sacred ceremony my Uncle Chet taught me when I was a kid. I've always wanted to try it. 
Is it gonna take long? Or hurt? Or hurt long? Relax. Let the energy build. Join me in the summoning song. I love how even the, the humming is translated. I'm a song from the 60s. Fantastic. He's back to abnormal. Let's get out of here, strong side. I can't wait to journal about the nightmares I'm gonna have from this experience. So and that was. Okay, the Hogsar Reservation. Who else could bring modern conveniences to this backwards land other than the intrepid emancipator, Strong Bad? Welcome to the 20th century, Hogsar. Raised by a cup of coffee, indeed. I missed the 20th century. 20th century was awesome. Are you gonna keep a cool head and battle, Hamsar? I'll take the last bus to the bake sale. That'll work too. Now, this is interesting because I didn't realize that you could put Tony Stoney in any of the other uh, spots. Like if you take this, I thought you could only put, I thought these were full. So if you put one, say, let's see. Stick it up here. Aha! The balance of power has shifted. This apparently leads to something funny. Run the draft again. Okay. And welcome back to Hopes of Pants Peacetime Draft Stravaganza. Let's see who's today's lucky winner. I love the internet. Little Bruno! Oh, little Bruno! Why? Why is the world so hard on all the little one legged creatures? Burn me in the front line, Sarge. I'm gonna be a four-star general someday. No! Oh, why did I even put that on the board? No ghost, bro, bro. Oh, keep trying. Okay. So that was just, you know... So you could do that with any of them. I know which one is going to work, but let's uh, let's get some full experience. Let's try putting it in Bleak House. Aha! The balance of power has shifted. Why don't you reinstate the draft? That's a great idea. And welcome back to Hopes and Pants Peacetime Draft Stravaganza. Let's see who's today's lucky winner. Tom Benedetto? Yo! Hasn't that family suffered enough? No ghost, bro, bro. And that's pretty much oh, you get for all of them. Except, trying. except for the one. And of course, what would it be? A corpse. Of course. Of course. It would involve poop. Poop Slovakia. Aha! The balance of power has shifted! I love the internet. You should run that draft again before it's too late. We may already be too late. And welcome back to Hopes and Pants Peacetime Draft Stravaganza. Let's see who's today's lucky winner. And the lucky winner is Code Z. Really? I never won anything before in my life. Recruit, are you willing to put your life and some cool camos on the line to defend my country? I think they've all overbid. One dollar. One dollar. Close enough. Welcome to the home, Stormy Soldier. 
Homestar, I told you I don't like you having all your friends over to watch the game and plan paramilitary operations without asking me first. Oh, you granola bars are all the same, except for the ones with chocolate chips. You enjoy your freedom to not wash your hair and play hacky sack, but aren't willing to put an orange bowl on your head and wave a spoon around. Okay, that is it, Homestar. We are through. Good. Fine. Battle! Your side is East Mars' star, and my side is East Home Japan. Midway along the border, we'll set up Checkpoint the Cheek. Why don't you just make your own country at your house? No way! There's a squirrel in the attic that I sometimes think is a spooky ghost. Whatever. All right, maggots. I take... I... You call this a home star me? Somebody's gonna have to whip these wastes of panty wastes into shape. Take it away, your dryness. Just let me know when you want to start attacking the castle. Do you want to die a hero or live as a dead hoagie? Shrieking and crying are perfectly acceptable responses to an attack. Mm -hmm. They will be expecting a well-organized and disciplined invasion force. So we'll have surprise on our side. <laughs> We've got to hit him where all old people are the weakest. Right in the pond. How many lanes are there? The first thing you'll notice about the of town is that he smells like fresh baked breads. Do not be fooled. The of town's forces are mightier than his monthly Danish bill. We must strike the castle with back alley surgical precision. The castle's defenses are weakest in its dice buds and its uh, uvula. <laughs> no retreat, no surrender, double impact, time cop. Time cop, oh, there's a throwback. Has anyone seen my contact lens? This man will be our finest hour. Ugh, I hope this doesn't take an hour. All right, men, it's time to put up or shut up. Actually, just shut up. We've got to hit him where all old people are the weakest. Okay. Right in the pond. Do I make myself clear? Sir, yes, sir. Am I boring you, Private? I have something to share with the rest of the class? I'm the local Leroy. Do you want to die, soldier? Hmm, well... Shape up, Private! I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> On to the castle! Death to the off town! Revelation! Devil of Revelation. And that's My a dearest good Marzipan, the siege on the castle continues. We are forever surrounded by the brown stench of war and the constant beige screaming. Always the beige screaming. We have suffered great losses. The cheat was the first to turn tail and join the enemy, quickly followed by the traitorous Coach Z, which incidentally is his new rap name. I've done things I'm not proud of. I can only dream of the day when this madness ends and I can return to your ahem, arms once again. Your lovable cuddliness, Homestar Warner. Don't be stupid, Homestar. Okay. The siege lasted five minutes and that was a week ago. It was like the King of Town wanted to give up. The Homestar be sure showed him a thing or twelve. Whatever. I just wanted to tell you again to pick up your stupid draft wheel from my house. I need the yard for my Down with the King rally. Now I'm going back down to protest you slash everything you stand for. Okay, Marzipan. Call me. Uh, how could I have known being King of Town would suck so many eggs? Right. How couldn't I have known? There, there, my liege. That emptiness you feel inside, I want you to take that and cram it full of chimichangas. Gravy, turkey legs, and cocoa butter. 
three wacky private eyes on a mixed up course towards mayhem. Sunday nights this fall. <coughs> the Oak Town's household hint number 43. Keep a spare beard in your fridge's dairy section to take the edge off that late summer heat. No more sitting on that thing. I'm starting to get bed sores and freezer burn. So we've ranked up. No more sitting on that. And now we're the king. And we don't want to be the king. I gotta figure out what we're doing next. Which, I'm not gonna go to the internet first. But I think this is a good place to take a break. And on that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night! <laughs>